What is the Philippine Revolution? When did the Philippine Revolution start? Why did the Philippine Revolution happen? The Philippine Revolution is about Spain, such as Spanish, conquering over the Philippines and the Philippines fighting back for independence and freedom. It all started during 1521 when Ferdinand Magellan set a journey and led Spain to the Philippines. In 1564, Spain made the first move and attacked and burned down the village and conquered the Philippines. Once the Philippines were conquered, they wanted independence, so they kept fighting for a long time until they couldn't fight for independence anymore. A man named Emilio Aguinaldo showed up and helped support the Philippines to achieve independence. Then the Philippines and Spain broke out and fought. Spain destroyed one of the U.S. ships and the U.S. came to war with the Philippines against Spain. Not until Spain declared peace and truce. Andres Bonifacio y de Castro was a Filipino Freemason and a revolutionary leader. During the Filipino Revolution against Spanish colonization, Andres Bonifacio also fought a civil struggle and war against the leader of Emilio Aguinaldo. Emilio Aguinaldo is often celebrated as a national hero, but it is Andres Bonifacio that is a true father of the Philippine Revolution. This theme, Frontiers in History, People, Places, Ideas, relates to the Philippine Revolution because during 1512, Ferdinand Magellan in Spain first discovered the Philippines' land, which is uncharted territory to them. In 1521, Spain came back to the Philippines' land and conquered the Philippines, and the Philippines were weak. Spain brought good things to the Philippines, such as building schools, teaching Filipino how to read, write and speak English. They also brought great wealth to the Philippines. When Spain was conquering the Philippines, many revolts were happening and it was impacting the Philippines and some other places such as Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Guam that were also being conquered by Spain too. A man named Emilio Aguinaldo knew and thought that it was possible for them to fight and achieve independence with some help of, from allies and other people that are important. Emilio Aguinaldo had a big impact on the road to achieving independence for the Philippines. Once Spain and the United States signed a peace contract in 1898, which led Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Guam, and the Philippines to have independence. When all the lands had their independence that, that were ruled by Spain, Spain's power declined and they were weak. The, the Philippines got to purchase their land back for 20 million and they got to restore their independence. Spain had a great impact on the Philippines' culture and the way of living. Spain came with different foods. It changed how Filipino had to cook in their cuisine. Spain also introduced Philippines to Christianity, and they built many churches. Things Spain brought, which the Philippines still do today, are dancing, music, and literature are still used until this day. Andres Bonifacio impacted the Philippine Revolution by an amount beyond anybody else because in 1895, Andres Bonifacio organized the Katipunan, a fraternal brotherhood of F Filipino nationalists committed to independence. This shows that Andres Bonifacio organized and brought together many people to help and achieve independence. He also led the Katipunan to inspire many Filipino groups so they could launch a nationwide appeal to overthrow the Spanish. Andres Bonfacio is a very important to the Philippine Revolution because without him, the Spanish may have won and taken over the Philippines, and the Philippines gained nothing if they were conquered. Andres Bonfacio had a great rivalry against Emilio Aguinaldo. Bonfacio, as the leader of the Katipunan, presided over the convention. Although Bonfacio did not take sides in any faction, it was thought that Magdi Wong was more supportive of Bonifacio than Magdalo, whose leaders were composed of disgruntled members of the rich Principilla, including Aguinaldo. Andres Bonfacio impacted the Philippine Revolution greatly because he was the one who founded the Katipunin, who were a secret revolutionary society that helped fight for the Philippines' independence from Spain. He was also a great speaker who influenced the Philippine population at the time to help fight back against Spain. Andres Bonifacio also had a competition at the time for who would lead the resolution. The pro Aguinaldo faction argued that he led a string of victories in Cavite, mostly turning points in the revolution, whereas Bonifacio met mostly defeats in Manila and environs. The pro Bonifacio faction countered that the major Spanish forces were concentrated in Manila, while the Cavites battles were more, no more than skirmishes with a constabulary in streets and alleys. 
Andres Bonfacio de Castro is an inspiring leader, speaker, and determined fighter. Andres Bonfacio played an important role in the Philippine Revolution as the founding father and the leader of the Katipunan, a group that fought for independence. Andres Bonfacio and Emilio Aguinaldo fought for leadership, and they split into two factions, leading Aguinaldo to kill Andres Bonfacio. The revolution against Spain rapidly spread throughout the country. However, the poorly armed and ill equipped Filipinos were no match to the Spanish army. To make matters worse for Bonifacio, a young revolutionary in the province of Cavite named Emilio Aguinaldo emerged, resulting in a rivalry for leadership. As a result, the group split into two factions, the Magdalo under Aguinaldo and the Magdiwang under Bonifacio. A violent confrontation between the two groups and used on May 10, 1897. Bonifacio and his brother were killed by Aguinaldo's men. Before any of this happened, Bonifacio and Emilio were fighting for the position of president, but lost to Emilio. Then was elected for vice president, but then lost again. He accepted his losses, but then was accepted as the lowest rank with the least amount of power. On March 22nd, 1897, the Magdi Wang, Andres Bonifacio's group, and the Magdalo, Emilio's group, were supposed to convene at Cavite. During the meeting, Bonifacio was disrespected because the Magdalo group suggested that a lawyer be appointed the position of secretary instead of Bonifacio, and he declared the meeting over. Andres Bonifacio is the father of the Philippine Revolution. He did many things that helped the Philippines achieve independence, such as leading the Katipunan to inspire many Filipino groups so they could launch a nationwide appeal to overthrow the Spanish. Andres Bonifacio was the leader of the Philippine Revolution and president of the Tagalog Republic, a short-lived government in the Philippines. Those work, Bonifacio helped break free from Spanish colonial rule his story remembered in the Philippines today. This story shows how he had a great impact on the Philippine Revolution and helped them fight and achieve independence when some opponents were fighting against him.